Hey everybody, it's Robert and you're watching the vlog. And on today's video, Cody and I are out here doing some work on the land. This is gonna be a separate video. I wanna show you some stuff, kinda of give you an update that I hadn't given you before on some work that I've done out here. So on this video, we're gonna take a walk up the old field road that's now pretty open. All right, so you've seen me working and clearing this area out on several earlier videos, but what you didn't see was the fact that I opened this road up took my box blade and tried to tried to clear it out and smooth it out as much as possible which isn't the easiest thing with all these vines growing up in here and I still got some more clearing to do on the road but it is definitely definitely much more pleasant to drive up here now than it was the first time when Brian and I came up with just a chainsaw and cleared the road. And uh, yeah, I tore it up just a little bit with the old farm truck. I'm trying to get up here today with this wet weather we got. But this is just, this is a real pleasant walk up this road, I'll tell you what. Here's an old trailer that somebody left out here on this property many years ago. It's an old Studebaker, Studebaker trailer, or a Studebaker truck bed that's been converted into a trailer. We'll take a closer look at that on another day. It is absolutely amazing and very rewarding to see even small successes like this road being opened back up out here on the old bird farm. So it's had so many years of overgrowth taking it over. Now one thing that's very interesting, and I may have pointed this out on different videos, is how the landscape changes right here. On this side of the road you have vines that are taking over and all of that. Same over here, you've got all that privet hedge and all that good stuff. Over here, just across this fence line, it really opens up and you've got this beautiful, beautiful canopy of trees. And I've been calling this the campground. And that's kind of, kind of my plans for this little area of land here is just make this a neat little, neat little camping area. I've got my hammock set up over here. And Cody and I have actually worked pretty hard at clearing out some of the scrub in some of these woods here. But the other thing I wanted to show you, we're getting off the road a little bit. But the property keeps going and this is something I haven't shown you yet is the back pasture up here. And this will be on a future video when we do restoration, land restoration work on the old back pasture here. Now, as I understand it, less than 20 years ago, this was still field back here for the most part. And boy, it has really, really overgrown. Pine trees are taking over, cedar trees, and there's some nice trees out here too. But one of these days we'll come up here and clear out all these junk trees that are growing up. We'll leave some of the nice ones, but we'll open this back up to pasture land. Coming back out of the back pasture, and this is what I really wanted to show you guys too, is I cut a new road out here. Now you've already seen this on a previous video where I came down here and dumped some limbs off, but I've got myself set up a nice little brush pile so I don't have to dump anything or make those brush piles around the house anymore. So I cut this road through here and used the old tractor to make it drivable, somewhat, somewhat drivable. And we got ourselves a Big old brush pile back here where we'll stick all that stuff for now until it comes burning time. Now we're going to get back up here to the tractor 
and I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm doing to it today. I need it again, and if you remember on the first tractor video, the other Robert and I were looking at the type of oil that's in the transmission and operating the hydraulic lift, and I remember the fella who I bought it from, he told me what kind of oil he was putting in it, and it was the wrong type. So I went by Tractor Supply and spent way too much money on the correct oil, so we're going to try to get that all drained today. I had a bucket I found out here on the farm over there, so let's get that done. Yeah, that's definitely hydraulic fluid that's been running in this. And it's supposed to have like 90 weight uh, gear oil more or less. So Tractor Supply sells a 90 weight Ford tractor oil that's specifically designed for these tractors. So that's what we're going to put back in. All right, well, there we go. Got the tractor fluid changed and topped off. And another thing, a little bit of trouble I'm having with this tractor is well, the battery just stopped holding the charge on me. So I gotta jump it off every time I start it. So I gotta give a big shout out to this company right here. And this isn't like a paid promotion or anything like that. This is just a really cool thing. This company, Aldo, sent me this battery backup a while back. And uh, it's got a jump box built into it. And when I first got it, I thought, ain't no way that this is gonna be any good. And it actually impressed me. It's also got USB ports and 110 outlets on it. So it can give me all sorts of power when I'm out here and don't have any power. It's also pretty good for charging camera batteries on the go, which is what I thought I was mainly going to use it for until my Jeep had a dead battery one day. And I... Uh, jumped it off with this box and so from thence force that's been the main thing I've been doing with it and it's really impressed me so big thank you to Aldo the company for sending me that box it's really come in handy and it's got like these special batteries in it that are supposed to hold a really good charge not just your normal lithium ion stuff but I like it. All right, let's try to get this old tractor started. Cody passed me the keys I just left there. All right. I gotta walk. <laughs> 